Design of light gauge steel frame for building structures with frame CAD structure. A tutorial series by engineer Saraj Biswas. Chartered Engineer, Institute of Engineers, India. Gold Medalist, in Engineering Stream, University of Mysore. MTech in Structural Engineering, IIT, Delhi. Sun Certified Java Programmer, Sun Microsystem, USA. Let us now go to the panel setting again. So panel setting command is P set. So now we'll make this offset offset distance as zero in panel setting because we are going to draw the internal walls and which I knew which we would like to place the internal wall along the, the the center line of the internal wall along along the line panel line. LGS wall panel line you have drawn. So let us save this. Then again PD drill PD enter to draw a panel. So take from a starting point, then draw, wait for a bit and click. Again enter PD enter panel draw. panel draw clip so these walls are all along the central end PDN. at times you might not require to repeat the command the command keep on working so this is our point to this point for drawing a wall panel along the line we after clicking at the end point we should not move to any direction just stay there for a moment and then click again so the wall will be created all our internal walls have been created Let us now fillet, extend, or trim. All panels are required. Now you can see there is an opening here, so we should keep this wall as a longer wall. So if you use member fillet command, let us take, let us MF enter, select this, and then the, select the shorter wall. Again, MF enter, select this the short roll in a similar manner we should do repeat the process on the or Uja Ramon other side for this wall also this this part has opening so we should keep this wall as a longer wall so select this wall then the short roll again here also the same case select this wall first for repeating the command enter again select the longer wall then the short roll now let us come back, come back here. Now let us member fillet it. This one. First, let us extend this member. Now let us fillet this member. MF is the command. Command is MF enter in the command bar. So select the longer all, then the short all. Okay. Then again, this also we can remember plate MF enter, select the longer wall, then this wall. Similarly, we have to draw an internal wall here also as well. So take from this point to this point. Enter. 
this point to this point wait for a movement then click again so the center line wall is created so member fillet or this wall is longer wall and this wall is shorter wall so select first or this wall at first then this wall again mf enter member fillet select the longer wall then the shorter wall so our wall creation is over now we must check if there is any discrepancy if there is any gap in the walls so created so if there are some members are remaining to be created so there is a member we can see we have to trim it so mx is the command for member trim Select the member to be trimmed, then select the continuous member and cut MX. Select the member to be cut, select the continuous member and cut. So, this has been trimmed. So, before proceeding further, we must check all the walls whether they are in correct position. So, before proceeding further, we should we'll make an integrity check just here now just to check that if some walls are overlapping or all some walls are not touching to each other so for integrity check the command is ic integrity check ic enter now so you can see two walls not found touching each other so now to search from the entire uh, let us select half of this with ic you can see so this must be somewhere within within this portion so let us select this part only so it must be somewhere on all the has to be must be somewhere here so let us check this part this wall and this wall so on or not firm touch each other so here let us zoom it now you see this wall is not touching each other so let us take the command of member extent <laughs> the command for member extent is me enter though select the entity to extend to or select this entity then Select the entity to extend, then select the entity to extend. it has been extended. So now similar case possible here. So ME extend. Select the member to extend, then select the member to be extended. So it have, now let us make an IC ticket check for the entire wall. For all the wall. So warnings wall 13 also are found over maximum that is okay now we have to deliver warning so there is we have there is no wall which which are overlapping or not touching each other we forgot to draw a line for the post part so let us go back to the LT command again so, line command our porch Now let us, the next step is to list the wall as external wall or internal wall, load bearing or non load bearing wall. So if you see, the first floor uh, or joist direction would be something like this. If 
Here we shall put some open oil good. Here the staircase beam is coming. So this part will remain open. So to so, coat the wall all as load bearing wall or small wood load bearing wall the command is to list so first type li list now whichever is our external load bearing wall let us select them this is external wall 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 as well as they are load bearing wall after selecting them, press enter. So this is load bearing. So we have to change the mass here for both of them. We had calculated the 0.6 on if you remember. So these are load bearing wall. Code as so you can see the color of this line has changed. Now let us put up this current line. Let us make color line all layer. So make this different to all as the current wall. So stop the light. So you can see the color of the load bearing wall has been changed. So let us find other wall also as load bearing wall. So list realize the command. This wall will be load bearing. This wall will be load bearing. This wall will be also a load bearing. We'll keep on changing as an OEM required. Some joist could be placed over here, some joist could be placed over here, some joist could be placed over here, some joist could be placed over here. So, code as. So, you can see the color has changed. Line. The color has changed. Now let us put non load bearing wall. Again, list. As of now, these are our non load bearing wall. So make this non load bearing. Panel is just non load bearing. Okay, so this has become non load bearing. Now we shall put this Our wall height, wall height is 3050. Now we should list this wall again. Li list. Select all this wall. Three zero five zero is the height. So I mean. Now let us put them as load bearing and non load bearing. external or internal for list. These are our external one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. So, in loading information, it is external. Okay. Now, this this is the part we have to make external. So, let us use a command to cut this panel. For cutting a panel, the command is MC. Go to the command bar, MC. Select the wall to cut or splice. Select this point. Enter. Then again MC. Select the wall to cut. Select this point. Enter. Now you can see this wall. This also has become external wall. Now we will also cut this wall at this position. This okay. MC enter. Select this point. Okay. So this these walls are also external. So will I enter? Let us check. Yes, they are in, in enter. Loading information. Load. Now, which are the load bearing walls? Main load bearing walls. For that, that we have to provide. We we'll provide 610 mm double stud in the main direction or in the direction of the joist. Joist. So, let us list those all. One, two, three, four, five. Start data. We make it back to back absolute. Actual start is facing 610. Nominal start is facing also 610. Nogging height. Now usually the boards are available in size of 2440 mm into 1220 mm. So we should provide nogging number those level 2, 4, 4, 0, 1, 2, 2, 0, and 4, 0. Service sold, you can provide 300, 450, 300, let it be default, but this is a good height. So, this is our load bearing wall. I mean, this is also our load bearing wall, Li. Loading information, load bearing, start data, back to back absolute, 610, actual start, nominal, nominal start spacing, actual start spacing is the spacing we need to have for placing the joist or for placing or as per the requirement of the load bearing capacity, it could be 407 also. So, for this building, 610 will suffice. If it doesn't suffice, there is a manual calculation because in LRMD, the wind pressure will be taken is quite less for checking this wall. So, we'll check that with the manual calculation later. So, logging height is 1220. So now there are certain all which are not in, which are load bearing but not internal. So take those wall. These are internal wall but load bearing wall. List. Loading information. Load bearing. But these are internal wall. Okay. 
चट डटा and this part there is a beam above so this is non load bearing all part this part will be load bearing all so let us let us put on the picture drawing again so let us put all the columns uh, let us see what is the column height it is 7 on 50 liter liter as of now we we'll put that that then liter will get i mean it as per requirement so the column it is actually from here from the concrete top level concrete top level to truss bottom it is 6550 so what we can do we can add column at those those positions now see in architectural plan this columns has been positioned as positioned as external with the line of the all but the board has to bypass this column so let us draw a rectangle let us make the line of the all as current Line all clear as current clear. And let us draw a rectangle of 150 by 150. Okay. Like this. Okay. Like the command for that is R U C T. Click on the screen somewhere in the border. Then at the rate. You have to put on the layer as well. So see the layer of that is I this rectangle are not seen. So we did we made the layer current current, but we did not the layer is off. So now we have made it made it on so rectangle command. I select select a point then add the rate one fifty comma one. So this is our. Let us take the offset of 6 mm. In the structural drawing, the thickness is not given in the architectural drawing. So now let us add it so that it is it become prominent. Add it internal point. Cyan color. past place it here so that walls are bypassed then again let us hold it from there top on the point hold it from here
good. Copy again. Let us put it from here. Just here. Put it. So let us put out the architecture layer. Our column can be seen now. these are the point where we need to cut the panel so let us cut them mc at this point at this point okay we'll cut again mc at this point at this point cut cut in MC enter this point this point this point this point now to locate the center of the box the two plates let us put a diagonal line Perfect. Not perfect. L line command in one corner. Line command. Copy. Side. Forgot to put two columns here. We'll do command again. We'll copy. Again, to put off the architecture layer off, so let us put this CPU copy from here, place it here, place it here. Now, this is the wall which is load bearing, but internal. So, select these two walls, get load bearing. Load 
bearing information it is not load bearing it is load bearing and it is internal wall element so now let us add the required beam also for that the command is add so we have to take a beam so let us take a uv section we can take its height so let us check what is the size of the beam it is 250 by 5 150 by 8 so total depth is 260 and weight is 150 so add command add beam uv section before adding we must create the post so for let us add the post part add post post this is a frame calculator beam post metric column type is 150 by 150 by 5 we are getting 150 by 150 by 150 150 by 150 150 by 150 by 6 we have chosen create creation method by points create based on this point hold for a point Columns are being created are also in cyan color, so let us change. Let us change the box color. So say color red. Okay. Line. Enter any match. So that we we are changing the color so that we know the columns are actually being created. Add post create start starting point for the post end point for the post is same select side to option return for center line to so return return means enter key so then you have to change the color Color is Post create. Select ending point. We shall add the post now. Go to the command bar. Add. The frame cut different person keeps on uh, creating experimenting so uh, positioning the, uh, this posting has been at a point has been cumbersome so you have to be careful while posting this beam post or, uh, or beams etc so let us this is point use complex energy yes it is original entity no 
create go to the point where you want to create now end point is also same now offset in a direction as shown here yes yes so this has been the post has been created you can see the line of the post For creating post, uh, you might have to put a bit of labor because I have found that Flipkart commands for this post and at times doesn't work properly and it is difficult to place place them. So let us go to the model here. Let us go to the model space. This is 3D model space. Here. It, P3D. See the columns which have been created can be seen on the plan. Now let us see if they are they are they have been properly created. So go to view 3D view left area left front. So we can see the columns, the column sides it seems to be okay. It is, it is in line, line with the column. So let us go to the layout and change the colors of this column. We'll list this column. Will I list? Adapting color. Let us make it pink. Okay. okay. Match this pink to all other columns. CD command so the columns can be seen in the pink. So now let us create all the beam. So again add command beam UV section 
top parallel is 30. 50 matching with the wall height. Base RL, we can give the beam 65. Base RL will do our water bit of 150 is it wide. Equation method is 5 points. Create. Select the midpoint by mid. Midpoint command, then select another midpoint by midpoint command. Hold for there, click again. So the beam is created. So similarly, we can create all other beams. Let us change the draft, drafting color of this beam to Li. List. List. Select the entry to list. Raptic color, let us pick it a dark pink. Okay. I mean, so it has become, so I, can, I can add post. Dark pink color. Dark pink. Okay. Create. Point. Again, midpoint, MID mid. Click again. Add. Add command again. See, you, um, you might have to put the escape command quite a bit of, bit of time. Because the enter command at times it works, at times it doesn't work to repeat the same command. So create beam command. So then middle point command, to middle midpoint will be selected. Then again middle point command, midpoint will be selected. Hold for there, be there. So for this part there will be cantilever pin. So again add P or path add beam midpoint MID mid then P or path Here part click mouse again here select the continuous member we are not able to cut this so let us delete delete this member and draw it again add ID mate the wall line here part mouse click again part mouse click so let us go to the 3d view and see if the beams have been created properly or not Beams, uh, beams uh, seems to be 
quite good. Now see this cantilever beams are at a different level. It is not at the floor level. So go to the layout, see the section. The top parallel of the beam if you measure it DLI. Snap, select all, okay, okay, DLI, DLI, this to top of the computer. So this is 1650. So 1650 is the top parallel of this two beam. So let us go there. This this beam li li so one six five zero is top parallel. Amen. Now you have to add one more beam here. So add. From here to here, choose towards inside. Click. The beam is created. Now you have to list this beam as well. Check if the top parallel is in top parallel is one six five zero for this beam as well. Amen. Let us go to the 3D model again. Let's see what has happened. P3D to erase the previous 3D model and P3D again to recreate the model. So you can see the cantilever beam at the mid landing level has been generated. So So you have to work on some other other wall light also. This is the wall which will be which will have a height of 13884. You see. So let us reach this wall. So our panel beam with this is the joint jo, uh, starting points of two panels so let us join these two panels and cut it again join this join this okay this is joint then again join this join this this is again then again MCM the cut this point here cut this point here at the level of the beam so now we have wall under the entire MS structural beam. So let, let us list this beam. The height of the beam is 1384 both I mean the check it is 1384 this is 1384. So let us go to the 3D model and see if everything is proper in 3D again big 3D you can see the wall has been created below the beam again go to the layout let us list these two wall as well select these two wall this wall Li list like this wall and this wall. Let us change their their height as well. One, one, three, eight, four. I mean, okay.
Oke. Okay. There is a wall below below the beam here. So this wall will also have a lesser lesser parallel. So let us see what should be the Let us go to the 3D model again. Model E3D E3D. Wow, non dual load bearing walls are also below the beam and this load. This this is also a non load bearing wall here you can see. समथिंग लाइक Three one three five, three one three three double one nine. If you reduce it by fifteen mm, three double one nine. So we are not doing it for this tutorial, but in actual practice we should do it so that we can have accommodate the deflection being subject tend to the MS structural member. So let us give it three one three four at three one three four itself. because here our main purpose is to see if everything is fitting so so let us now keep some beam web beam we will record some web beam here and this place and this place to carry the joist to carry the joist this place and this place i can go go to layout Tells command bar is hidden. If you click on the lower side of the screen, the command bar will command bar will appear. So let us add a web beam here. So beam is it shall be web beam. So let us keep the top parallel should be three zero five. Beam height. Let us keep it 500 mm. So 3050 minus 3050 minus 500. 2250 is enough. Head we shall obtain. So beam height is 89 mm. So dark pink color. Let us make it red. Okay. Create by point to point. Now, this is the point, and this is another point. Select on the direction. Okay. This beam has been created. Now, this is the point, and this is the point. Select inside direction. This beam. Now list them. Li list. In construction method, in length and height, in length and height, we have to provide some lap length. So, similar pockets are created by the software. 
for wearing this beam. So 89 left right is 89, right left is 89. So let us amend it. Amend. So we can again change the level of this beam. List. List. On the list command. So let us. Let us do not create a level at this time. Let it be. Let it remain x0, x0 plus. So let us go to the model. Let us see what has happened. P3D, P3D, P3D again to see. Now you see, this is the part where a wave joist has been created. Joist, joist type of beam, wave beam has been created by. But it has not been detailed. See, we we need to delete those faults which are which which are in line with the post. So we can do that by layer isolating command. So let us put a command. Let us put a command of layer iso. For isolating the layer, let's say, select this beam. Now, you can, if you can see, this is the part where two columns existed. So, we delete this wall and delete this part of wall. Again, lay un iso, so unisolated, unisolated layer, layer un iso. So now again in non-load wearing all also there will be something to so lay, lay ISO is the command. So select the non-load wearing wall. And see this is the wall we to, need to delete. This is the wall we need to delete. This is the wall. All we need to delete. This is the wall we need to delete. So again, lay on ISO is the command. So now, if we, if we make an integrity check, IC is the command for the integrity check. Select our panel. Also, 10 walls, 14 walls are found. See, we have not divided uh, size the wall length. Uh, we have not labeled it, that is okay. We have not provided yet the joist, so no, there is no load duplicate level. So there is actually no level, so it is, that is why it is providing there is duplicate level. So no reference point, we will create a reference point before we move to making a joist. joist. Then now 10 oils are not found each other. Now let us count this, which of these 10 oils. Now one to one wall. Two wall, two wall, three, three wall, four wall, five wall, six wall, seven wall, eight wall, nine wall, ten wall. So these ten walls are not touching each other. So the, there is nothing to do in this morning. Frame cut should things to think to revise this. the port, the programming for issuing this warning because they are actually touching the posts. So the LGS structures are nowadays coming with lot of mild steel structural within. So this warning is actually a and turning whenever they, the wall is touching is touching AMS member. With this we finish the creation of load bearing wall, non-load bearing wall, external wall, internal wall and the MS structural beam and columns.